Welcome to the channel. This episode of the Little Plant Guide is on the Diefenbachia or Dumb Cane. The Dumb Cane belongs to the Araceae family. Popular relatives are the Anthuriums, Monsteras, and Philodendrons. In the plant world, it is called the Diefenbachia. There are about 50 species of plants in this genus. It is more commonly called the Dumb Cane, Leopard Lily, among other names. The plant is native to Central and South America. The dumb cane has wide ovate shaped leaves that grow alternately on a straight stem. The beautiful leaves have unique patterns of yellow, cream, white, and green. The plant grows upright with thick and sturdy sugar cane-like stems. Mature plants can get too tall or they may sometimes have tilted or twisted stems that make it hard to keep them upright. A simple solution is to prune or trim the plant to keep it at the desired height or to encourage healthy growth. The plant can typically grow up to 3 to 5 feet tall indoors and about the same spread. Some varieties can grow up to 10 feet tall, and the leaves can grow to an amazing size of around 20 inches long. Just look at this specimen I found at a restaurant in the Philippines. The plant rarely flowers indoors, but if they do, they grow in fluorescence and the flowers bloom in spring and summer. They have a beige and off-white shade extending up to 15 centimeters in length. Yes, the plant is toxic, so keep it out of reach of pets and kids. The dumb cane contains calcium oxalate and can cause irritation of the mouth and swelling. The toxic sap is said to cause temporary loss of speech if ingested, thus the nickname dumb cane. Make sure to always wash your hands and disinfect garden tools after handling the plant. The dumb cane can be propagated by taking stem cuttings and placing them in water to root or potting medium. Choose a piece of stem that has a few leaves growing on it and cut just below a node. A long bare stem can also be divided into about 10 to 15 centimeter sections and these multiple cuttings can then be planted into a potting medium or placed in a jar of water to root. The stem cuttings can be propagated even if they have no leaves on them. Taking a stem cutting or pruning your dumb cane is also a great way to propagate the plant. After a few weeks, your mother or parent plant may push out new stalks or offsets from the roots. These offsets can then be divided from the mother plant, giving you more dumb canes. The dumb cane is one of those house plants that can handle different levels of light. It will tolerate low light, but growth will be slow. This is an area of more than a meter up to three meters away from a window. The wide leaves of some varieties gather dust easily, so it's best to wipe them down regularly so they get as much light as possible, especially in a low light area of the house. It does best in bright, indirect to medium light. This is about 1 to 2 meters away from a bright window. The variegated dumb cane also needs more light than the non-variegated varieties to maintain the stunning patterns and colors on their leaves. Be careful not to expose the plant to harsh direct sunlight as it can burn the leaves, especially the new young leaves. This plant needs moderate amount of water. A regular watering schedule is a goal. Feel for the soil and water when the top two inches of the soil feels dry. It may mean roughly once a week in the warmer months and less in autumn and winter. The leaves may wilt if the plant is thirsty and the leaves may also curl after long periods of drought. A good soak will quench the thirst and the leaves will be perky again. Use fertilizer labeled for indoor or house plants. Feed during the warm growing season. Liquid fertilizer can also be sprayed onto the leaves and stems. The dumb cane prefers a well-draining soil. It is easy to place. A simple mix of premium potting soil and some perlite is pretty effective. The plant thrives in a warm environment. It will tolerate temperature as low as 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 
but it will not survive freezing temperatures. A good range to maintain is between 65 to 75 degrees or 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. Avoid drastic changes in temperature as the plant will suffer and have delayed growth. The dumb cane needs a moderate to high amount of humidity. Position the plant away from heaters or central heating vents as this can reduce humidity around the plant. Watch out for mealybugs and spider mice. Check the cash pots and undersides of the leaves for these pesky pests. Common signs of pest activity include cotton, wool-like appearance on stems and leaves, slimy and sticky residue, and yellow leaves. Trim any dead or dying leaves to keep pests away and give energy back to the plant to grow new leaves. A regular spray of something like neem oil will help keep these pests at bay. Keep an eye out for root rot. Things to look out for if you suspect root rot are mushy, wrinkled leaves, black or brown markings or spots at the base of the plant, and dark rotten roots. Healthy roots are usually white or light brown and look plump. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide is helpful. Let me know what you think of this new video in the comment section. And I wish you much success with your plant care. See you in the next video.